Um, what made your Ramadan the best? As to me, Nadine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I pondered about that because I've had lots of Ramadans in my life. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Um, and there are two kind of experiences that happened to me that I that are just really um, at the, the tip of my mind. So one was that for um, I, I had the honor of uh, working in a particular mosque in London. I, I, I was the director of that masjid. And so for that year with the team, I was responsible for um, Tarawi. So we have about 5,000 people that come into that masjid, Alhamdulillah. So for the first time in my life, I did Tarawi in congregation and I wasn't, I think I was only home twice for that whole month. And being in that atmosphere was absolutely amazing, subhanAllah. Because you start not only from, you know, you're not starting from Tarawi, you're starting from preparing the iftar for all those people. And at that time, um, you know, there was always food coming in. And so you have to arrange that. So there's a kind of practical arrangement with the team, getting all that done with the volunteers the staff and then eating and then going straight and doing your maghrib and then doing your esha and then doing tarawi and I would go home past midnight my husband would come and collect me and take me home but I there was this kind of elation in the exhaustion I can't tell you mm. it was just absolutely wonderful so that experience I've, I've never had but it was just absolutely wonderful and also for us as women I know we go to tarawi yeah many of us try or we might have young kids or whatever it can be difficult but for me to have that space to do that was you know amazing so that that's kind of one thing and the other thing is that for a long time in my life I've wanted to I've asked Allah I said Allah I want to um you know go to Umrah in Ramadan and it hasn't happened and it hasn't happened and then last year within 48 hours um, I got the opportunity to go with a group of uh, female friends. Um, and it was a bank holiday on the first of that, that first day. And then the second day was, and I literally on, until I think three hours before I was supposed to board the plane, I hadn't known if I was going to go or not. That's how, you know, and um, I went there. I had the last 10 days. It was really tough. And this is the other thing is that, it's not in the ease that you find the benefit. Mm. It's in the difficulty that you find the benefit. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, um, we often say, for innam al usri usta, innam al usri usta, you know, it's within the actual experience of difficulty or ease. There's always both. But it was so amazing that what I realized is that through the, the kind of, because there was pain and there was suffering, you're with millions of people. It felt more populated than Hajj, yeah, in, in Ramadan. And literally there were times I was on the tarmac, you know, because I, 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 I've just got issues with my feet anyhow, just walking, I, I've got flat feet. So it's not easy for me, you know, and you're just sitting on the tarmac and putting your head on the tarmac because I didn't have to bring the musalla with me or I'd forgotten because there's so much to carry. But it was, there was just such beauty and connection through that difficulty I again you know that was just amazing for me so those experiences and then we weren't sure about Laila Til Qadr and one night um, this elderly gentleman um, took me and the group of friends to the top of um, you know uh, the, 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 the mosque and as we sat there I just felt like somebody was touching my face and I was like I was just like a bit weirded out and I realized it was these really thick drops of like rain but they weren't coming fast just really slow it's like somebody was touching my face and my body and I thought I wonder how life this is today it's today Allahu Allah, Allah knows best. Allah. and it just gave me this such serenity I can't tell you I just felt so content I said you know if I if I go now then I'm happy you know, if this is the end of me, then I'm alhamdulillah I'm so happy. It makes me so emotional to think of it in that way, but the very personal and very, yeah, it was just this connection that I got 
and you know, I pray that all of you get the opportunity to go to uh, do Umrah in Ramadan. It's a very, very special time. You know, and those who are listening and watching this, you know, it's amazing, inshallah. May Allah fulfill that wish for everyone.